Hello and welcome to my video on the top three Forex brokers for scalping. This is in no particular order, just three of the better ones that I have found. Uh, the first one is going to be FP Markets. They've been around for 15 years, uh, so they do have a certain amount of pedigree uh, behind them, as it were. Uh, so the reputation is well known. They are Australian. Uh, the trading you can see is Forex shares, metals, commodities, indice. Uh, so let's take a look at the spreads. And we'll just stick to Forex for now. But the average spread is going to be uh, relatively tight. You've got uh, like Euro Yen is one and a half. You know, some of these obviously are exotics. Euro Turkish Lira isn't necessarily something you'll be scalping. Uh, but you can see like Pound Yen uh, two um, pips is your average. There is a minimum for the raw Ian, uh, e ECN um, all commission. Uh, but really that is something you can't count on. I mean, it does fluctuate by its very nature uh dollar yen a dollar or 1.3 um even the sing dollar is 2.6 and then as you roll down the list it starts to show metal uh cfds like the indices those are really tight as well and in fact i would suggest that perhaps uh, the uh, spreads on uh ecns and um Commodities are probably some of the better ones that you will find. As far as uh, customer service is concerned, they do have live support, as you can see down here at the bottom, a chat, but they also have phone numbers that you can call uh, during normal trading hours. Funding is um, relatively easy. You can see that you've got credit card, debit card, bank transfer. BPay, PayPal, NetTeller, Poly, Skrill, PayTrust, uh, some Vietnamese, uh, FasaPay, uh, Broker to Broker. Uh, also, um, the uh, Online Pay, Union Pay, um, a couple of other ones. And really, at this point, it suggests that uh, you know you you can probably find a way to get your money into your account without too many issues anyways so when we talk about uh, FP markets you also want to know you know whether or not uh, they have the platforms you like it's a web trader um, they have um, iris which is an active trader platform um, you know it's something that most of the time you're going to be looking at like the higher end accounts uh, for the most part, though, uh, what you're looking for uh, is going to be your um, MT4, MT5, the web trader, etc. So when you uh, trade with FP, you have the ability, again, to trade other markets. That's a huge deal. Uh, they are regulated. So if you go down to the bottom... You can see it's only $100 uh, uh, dollar deposit, 67 plus uh, trading instruments, and up to 500 to want to leverage. That's going to be like your major currency pairs. Uh, but you can see that um, you can go down here. It's an Australian company. They are regulated in Australia. Um, down here in the terms and conditions, it shows you all of their... Uh, information they are afs regulated sisec in the eu regulated um they do not accept u.s japanese or new zealand uh residents but um they do offer a significant uh you know tools on the side if you will like the auto chartist my fx books uh you can also control multiple accounts. So that, of course, is strong as well. Uh, the margin, like I said, is up to 500, uh, 1 to 500. Uh, really straightforward. 
part of what this comes down to is whether or not uh, you are going to find the markets that you're looking for. So there are plenty of markets to trade. Uh, but for example, you know, if you decide, hey, I want to trade commodities, but you want to trade something like copper, um, you know, you're going to have some trouble here because you're looking at oil, Brent, uh, WTI, Brent, Nat gas, gold, and silver, um, U.S. and Aussie flavors. And that, of course, makes sense. They are an Aussie company, so they are going to pay quite a bit of attention to the Australian dollar. Um, so you can click on the resources. There is fundamental analysis. There's ebooks and education. So, like video tutorials, you know, introduction to the platform. Um, you know, the ins and outs of how to use the platform, VPS, etc. Um, there's a glossary, there's a newsletter, there's ebooks. So I'll click on the ebooks and you can see avoiding common mistakes, three essential strategies from our most experienced traders, on and on. Um, the fundamental analysis can give you an idea of. Um, you know, what traders may be paying attention to uh, around the world. So pretty strong here. Um, again, 15 years experience, heavily uh, regulated in Australia. Good brokerage firm uh, does allow scalping. So uh, no worries there as well. The next one is Swiss Quote. They have a little bit different setup in the sense that they are uh, number one, they're regulated in Switzerland and the UK and multiple other countries, but they have a different setup because they have, um, multiple markets. And so when you go down, they, um, go through all of this here and you have the ability to trade something called Swiss dots which is his own liquidity pool. And therefore they can offer uh, massive amounts of, of contracts because it's a small liquidity pool. And when I say small, I mean with multiple banks in Switzerland, but they allow you to um, make a market on almost anything. So um, definitely uh, strong. They also offer their own credit card uh, or debit card in 12 different currencies. So that helps. You can see that stocks themes trading. So that'd be like cannabis, uh, pro cannabis, etc. There's your Swiss dots. So like I said, this is its own market. It's got 90,000 um, different products. Goldman Sachs, UBS, Societe Generale, Montebel, BNP Paribas, um, it's an OTC over the counter marketplace for leveraged products. Um, you know, 55,000 warrants, 19,000 knockout warrants, 15 and a half thousand many futures, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, just far too much to go through, but pretty much let's put it this way. If you're looking to trade it, you'll find it in the Swiss dots. Um, that's like a bank to bank type of situation. It's not like a New York stock exchange. So it is a little bit different. Uh, when we go to Forex, you will see that they do have a good offering of markets when it comes to Forex. It just depends on which account you have. Um, you know, standard minimum deposit of a thousand spreads from 1.7, 10, 1.4, prime 50 to 1.1. Um, you also have the ability to trade options. Uh, you have the advanced trader. That's their own platform here. And then the MetaTrader ecosystem. You can um, contact them just about any time. It's 24-5. Uh, so it's, it's open when uh, the markets are open. Um, you can see, so we go to products, we go to Forex. So they have over 80 crosses um, and that does give you the ability to trade 
um, pretty much anything that you were looking for. Um, there are some brokerages out there that offer more, but quite frankly, you, you're going to be kind of hard pressed to be overly concerned about it. It does. It's basically one to a hundred on the majors and minors. There are some that, that have more in the way of margin necessary. And if you've been following, uh, in 2020, the U S uh, dollar Turkish lira, you understand why it's only uh, one to five leverage. Um, the metals, the platinums, the palladium, silver spot, uh, they vary a bit, but you can see all of that. Um, you can scalp, uh, so hence they're in this video. They have no issues with that whatsoever. They do offer a certain amount of uh, education. They offer, like in the resources tab, market analysis. So you click on that and it'll bring up some of their information. Um, you know, this isn't necessarily a beginner's type of brokerage firm. It, it has some morning news. It's like a newsletter type thing. There's a magazine, but, you know, if you're looking for um, massive amounts of information, probably not going to be the best place for you. Um Let's go ahead and go to the support and we'll talk about getting the FAQs. How do you open up an account? Uh, you have to go to their website. You have to have um, all of you know your uh, customer type of situation. They do not accept American traders. So that is something that you um need to be aware of they do offer uh, a license under the supervision of the swiss financial markets supervisory authority you're protected up to the equivalent of a hundred thousand francs um you can do an account via online banking instruction to the bank um you can do it at the post office if you happen to be swiss um, you can transfer securities. They have the ability to trade stocks. So if that's something that you're looking to do, um, but really, um, most of the, uh, deposits are going to be done via wire is, uh, what you're getting at. Um, the platforms again, let's take a look at that. So, the Swiss dots has its own platform, um, platform of derivatives. Um, but, um, certainly, uh, a fully functional platform. Uh, there's themes trading. And you pull up this, uh, you know, themes trading. It'll give you an idea of what types of uh, themes that they have. Um, you know, there's some there's some um, news here, and post pandemic recovery is the theme, so it kind of narrows this down for you. E mobility, um, hydrogen economy, sustainable energy, global recycling, and the like. I mean, there you know, there's a ton of, to work with here. So FXTB is probably not as well known as the other two, um, but it does allow scalping and it is a good environment for scalping. So that's certainly something to be aware of. You can see that they offer CFDs and in commodity stocks index uh, crypto. We'll focus, of course, on Forex. And you can see it's got a basic rundown of what it is. You click on trade and it'll pull up uh, this kind of like little web based platform. You can see that they've got, go ahead and rifle through this real quick. They've got a lot of the pairs that you would expect. They do have some exotics here like the dollar mex, um, Polish Lottie, um, British pound, Indian rupee. Um, 
it is restricted as some of these extraordinarily exotic ones are uh, but nonetheless uh, you can see that it's got this web-based platform and the good thing about that is is you can do it on pretty much anything with an internet connection they do have you know, a place like they call Trading Central, Analyst Views, Daily Market Analysis, Economic Insight, Featured Ideas. So this is kind of um, a good way to think of it. It's like an educational blog. Um, so you can get MetaTrader 4. So when you click on How Can I Deposit, you click on your account, click on the deposit uh, button like where I had been, and then there's multiple methods um, that they allow you to use. Um, they allow wires, credit cards, um, and the like. You can see that and they have some e-wallets available. You can see that uh, it's the exact opposite. Um, and then you can see like all of this can be read through that platform down at the bottom in your uh, account. So who are they regulated by? Well, they're regulated by the um, CISEC, which is the European Union. Uh, do they accept U.S. clients? No, they cannot. Um, you know, there's some very basic trading and investing. What's a pip? What's a spread? You should not be uh, scalping if you don't know what these things are, but um, it is there. Um, really, at this point, it's pretty straightforward, pretty decent sized um, marketplace that they offer. Um, going back to the trading platform, the web based trading platform. Um, you know, you go to crypto, you can see Litecoin, Ethereum, Dashcoin, uh, Ripple, Stellar, Commodities, Nat Gas, Palladium, Orange Juice, Cotton, Cocoa. So clearly very, uh, large offering, um, all the biggest stocks around the world and various, uh, indices are available as you can see. And speaking of indices, indices, we have the Russells, the H Sears, Hang Seng, uh, Ibex, you know, all of the big ones here as well. I mean, there's plenty of um, markets to trade, so you're not going to run into that as well. And I quite like this platform just because it's pretty straightforward. You get your um, execution, you know, if you go somewhere else, you can... Um, for example, if you go to work, you can pull it up on your computer. Uh, you can change all of the basics, uh, you know, the, what you would expect. It's pretty straightforward. It does offer, um, so like studies, indicators, uh, shapes, that type of thing. Um, you know, you can draw a ray. You know, that kind of thing. So it's pretty functional, pretty neat little um, platform. So going back to currencies, you can see that, um, you know, when you go to Euro dollar, it's about a pip and a half. It does fluctuate. Uh, but nonetheless, um, you know, it just shows it's more like an ECN. It's about two pips in the dollar yen, and uh, we are in Asian trading as I'm recording this, so that makes quite a bit of sense. You can click on information and get all of your um, pertinent information about the contract that you're involved in. So, you know, maybe something that's a little bit trickier, like, okay, you've never traded aluminum. You go to the trading chart, you can see that the chart is 1971. It shows you, you know, the hours that are available, min and max uh, volume, margin required to buy one lot, that that kind of thing. Pretty pretty neat brokerage firm, really, because they offer so many. Um, they've got really wide array of commodities. Uh, nickel, you know, you don't see that just anywhere. So certainly worth paying attention to the rice market, uh, etc. So all three of these 
brokerage firms offer the ability to scalp. Um, it's going to come down to uh, how many markets you're looking for. I mean, Swiss quote has the largest amount, but some of that's like warrants and, and other things you may not be familiar with. Uh, FXTB has a very large amount of offerings outside of Forex, so uh, that's worth paying attention to. Uh, and then, of course, um, FP is probably one of the older ones, at least in this group. And they offer, um, you know, most of the currencies that you're going to be looking for. So really, at this point, not a whole lot to argue about in either one. Um, you know, it, it is clearly three of the better scalping brokers. It's just going to come down to the markets you're looking for. Um, and perhaps the platform, if you are looking for a specific platform. 